Ladies and mostly gentlemen, today we're going to talk about patch 7.3 which unexpectedly dropped onto the PTR yesterday. So more specifically we're going to talk about one mount in particular that really caught my eye and I felt that I needed to check it out myself. So if you haven't been on MMO Champion or Wowhead today, I totally suggest you do as you can check out some of the amazing new models that are coming in this massive patch. So I was originally going to do a longer video showcasing each specific mount but I decided against it for now. But if you want me to do a specific video for each of these new mount models, then smash that like button and let's get started. So I decided, instead of jumping on the PTR and trying to figure out how to mess around with these models in the Legion client, I thought I'd do what I did with the 7.2 class mounts and port these new models over to the Raffle Lich King client. So this is the Lightforge Golem mount. And as you can see, it is seriously awesome. The instant vibe I'm getting from this mount is that it looks like the Hulkbuster armor from the Avengers, with a bit of Baymax and some Paladin tier 19, with a splash of Naru inspired stuff on the back. So once you're mounted up on this thing, it makes it look even better. I honestly just love how happy my gnome looks while he's inside it, and zooming out just a little bit further makes it really look like a giant mech suit, like something out of Titanfall. Fun fact, the data mine name for this model is actually Lightforged Mech Suit, which must have been their working title for it, as that happens a lot with the model files in World of Warcraft. Now flying around the world in this thing, it is very, very similar to the Sky Golem mount from Mists, and I wouldn't be surprised if it actually uses the same or very similar skeleton to that mount. But also another mount it looks very similar to is the Felsteel Annihilator from Wallers of Draenor. So looking at all three of these side by side, you can see that the Sky Golem and the Felsteel Annihilator have a very similar idol animation as opposed to the Lightforge Golem that just stands there completely still. You can also see that the Sky Golem and the Felsteel Annihilator are pretty much exactly the same size, while again the Lightforge Golem is very slightly larger. But even with these minor changes, I still believe there must be some sort of inspiration from the other two used on the new Lightforge model. Now let's talk about by far the best part of this mount, and that is the mount special animation. So check this out. How cool is that? Probably one of the most unique and interesting mount special animations that I've ever seen, and I'm a huge fan of that. Now if you want to see this mount for yourself right now, you're pretty much out of luck. Unfortunately, on the PTR, you get a pretty scary looking error when you go to select it on the mount viewer. As of this recording, the model viewer team haven't updated to support patch 7.3, but I would imagine that the in-game error on the PTR will probably be hotfixed within the next couple days. So seeing all these awesome new mounts and models being added to the game in patch 7.3 is gonna be super hyped about going to Argus, and I really hope the patch comes out sooner rather than later. So if you guys want to see me do more PTR content, then let me know in the comments below. Or if you want more short form videos showing off the new models, as it's not just limited to mounts that I can play with in game. I can play around with pretty much any of the mo new models that are coming in patch 7.3. Before I go, I want to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons who pledge our hard earned money to me, especially Johan Vberg, who I definitely just butchered the name. You are the patron of the video. So leave a like on this video guys if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. And with that, I'll see you next time.